What's going on everyone? It's Enu Yashers here and I don't know about you but something I've always loved doing is opening up boxes, opening up presents, something with a random chance at different items. I love that in games and there's honestly been games that I played just because you could do stuff like that. So for all you Hero Charge players who wonder about those gold boxes, I'm about to open up a thousand of them. We're just going to see what the hell I get. I waited until I got some coins so let's just jump right into this opening up these bronze chests so we're gonna buy 10 to get the 10% off and we're just gonna buy a fuck ton of these so getting a champion you already have isn't the greatest but at the same time it gives you the soul stones for that champion I do not use the admiral at all but hey whatever so we got a couple blue items we got a soul stone for mystic which is going to be turned into the soul stone shop and we got some for the admiral which i mean i guess it's not too bad to get someone up to five star anyway got a few more four more blue items in the second set of ten three more blue items and a useless soul stone because snipers just so oh, fuck that some blue items this could be completely underwhelming or it can be amazing I have no idea commendo that's gonna be seven soul stones we're gonna turn into the shot because she's already five star which I'm not complaining about I actually do enjoy having those soul stone points they're pretty nice One thing I did just notice, I didn't pay attention to how many coins I had when I started, so I have no idea how many of these I'm doing to get to 1k. Oops. Okay, we're going to do a little over 1k because I'm just going to run myself out of coins. I guess this can really show you the rate of, that you get champions out of these chests too. Cleric not very useful but he has some scenarios where he's useful he's not an all-around hero very few are but rifleman another one that has scenarios where he's pretty good Would have loved to get some satellite soul stones. The sooner she's five star, the better. She has a lot of cases where she's good to use. Lightning Master. Boo. Alright, so we're going to get a fuckload of blue items. I'm not getting the soul stones would have been good. More commando. I'm wondering if it's possible to even get a new champion or if it just gives you soul stones of champions you already have. Because I don't think I've gotten a new. Uh, yeah, I know I haven't gotten a new champion yet. Be kind of cool to get one of the ones I'm really after, like Iron Hoof. Which I don't even know if that's even possible to get from a chest, but... Hey, that's the point of doing stuff like this. We're testing and learning. 
Vanguard Warrior. Not bad. Sapper counter. He has cases where he's good. Alright, some cleric stones. And yes, I realize how lame this is in a way, but at the same time, it just has my heart racing and I'm so excited just to be opening up boxes that give random items. Even if I realize most of them is going to do absolutely nothing for me. For some reason, I just love doing stuff like this. I remember in the past there was a game that I quit playing that would just, uh, had a boss where it would just drop boxes where it had random stuff that dropped like from the boxes and I would log in whenever the guild would kill that boss just so I could open up like 200 boxes like and then I would just give all the loot over to the other leader and like I, I didn't even play the game but I came back and I opened boxes for months just to open boxes I guess I'm a little special Okay, it's been a while since we actually got a hero out of the boxes. And we get a cleric. There goes a mystic. Mystic, of course, is five star. It seems to me like it gives you soul stones to champions you already have to help you get them to five star. That's the conclusion I think I'm coming to out of this. Because I have not received a new, new hero at all. I'm not sure if I've been calling them champions or heroes in this. I am a League of Legends player also, so I'm extremely accustomed to saying champions instead of heroes. And I didn't even think about that until right now. And we're going to buy this free chest, yeah. Because I have just started my day. Back on the grind. Okay. So I'm pretty sure it is only giving me the soul stones to champions that I have. Heroes that I have. I'm sure after 800 or so boxes I would get a new 
hero if it was possible. 800 is quite a bit, and I just got some free stamina. Okay then, I wish we got some more Shadow Leaves and Machinists in there, but... I think it was something like 10.2 mil coins I had when I started. I didn't check. But we dumped 10 mil coins into this. I have no idea if it was worth it or not. Thinking about it, even if I can't upgrade any of my heroes, I'm not going to have the coins for it right away. Although coins are easy to come by, I'll get those no problem. Alright, I can do three more, 30 more boxes, three more buys. That's one dose. Guess the last 10 boxes. Alright, so we opened up, I don't know how many, it was 10.2 mil coins worth. I'm going to exchange some of these, get my soul stone points. Right row. Okay, we're good. And what is there? Feel like I'm missing out one of the five stars. Commando. Alright, so I didn't have any of the soul stone points, and as you can see, I got 6k, which is a decent amount. It's not too much, but it, I mean, it's something. Would have been nice to be able to get that 8k. Oh well. So yeah, if you stuck with me all the way to this point, I would like to thank you. I know this might not excite most people, but you know, there's some Heroes Charge players that might have been wondering would it be worth it to buy a bunch of those boxes, and I mean, I can upgrade some of my heroes that I've already had from the uh, collecting them and getting their soul stones from it. It was relatively expensive, it was 10 mil coins, but it might be something you want to look into. I mean, if you're overflowing in coins and you don't have any heroes you intend to level, you might as well go for it, but if you have, you know, some heroes you might want to level, you could definitely go with the uh, EXP in the booty cave instead of the coins and whatnot and work towards your EXP instead of just overflowing your coins which is what I've been doing but yeah if you stuck with me thank you very much I hope you enjoyed the video if not well I'm a little bit sorry but I'm pretty sure if you didn't enjoy you wouldn't be watching at this point right now so you all have a wonderful day and take care